If you want to add more plant-based protein to your diet but find dry beans daunting, try lentils. There is no soaking and they cook in less than 20 minutes. Today, we'll combine them with bulgur for one of my favorite vegan Middle Eastern dishes called mujadra. My version might make a few deviations from tradition, but it is so delicious that it became one of the most popular dishes in my beans and grains class. Let's preheat the oven to 500 degrees and get started. The lentils I like to use for this dish are called dupuy or French green. They hold shape nicely and don't turn to mush the way some other varieties do. Lentils can sometimes be sandy. The best way to wash them is to put them into a fine mesh sieve and set them into a bowl of water. Agitate them gently with your hand and lift. If you see sediment on the bottom of the bowl, dump this water and repeat until the water remains clean. My lentils turned out to be completely clean, so next time I use this batch, I won't wash. Put the lentils into a pot and add three cups of clean water per cup of lentils. No need to measure the water perfectly, you can just eyeball it. This is not like rice where all the water is absorbed by the end, so err on the side of more water if you are not measuring. Give your lentils a sprinkling of salt. There is an old wife's tale about not adding salt to beans and lentils until they are done, but this is the 21st century and we don't need to listen to that. Cover the pot and set over high heat, but watch it carefully so that it doesn't boil over. When you get close to a simmer, continue uncovered. As soon as you get a boil, reduce the heat so that the liquid is at a bare simmer and keep the pot uncovered. If you boil the lentils too hard, they'll fall apart. Set a timer for 18 minutes. Cook just until tender, but a slight bite still remains. Just like beans, the lentils need to cool in their cooking liquid before use. If you drain them immediately, their skins will burst. But if you let them rest, the texture will even out and they'll hold shape beautifully. The second component of our dish is bulgur. Bulgur is cracked wheat that's already cooked and then dried. All it needs is a 20-minute soak. Put half a cup of bulgur into a bowl, add a bit of salt, and three quarters of a cup of boiling water. Cover with plastic wrap and let sit for at least 20 minutes. My third component is roasted tomatoes. Drain a 28-ounce can of diced tomatoes in a colander to remove excess juice and place them on a small baking sheet. Add one halved garlic clove and three tablespoons of olive oil. Stir the tomatoes to coat them with oil and spread in an even layer. Place the garlic in the middle of the baking sheet, which is the coolest area. Place in 500 degree oven and if you have a convection fan, turn it on. Cook for 20 to 30 minutes or until the edges start to get charred. Convection will make it go a little faster. Don't be afraid to burn the tomatoes a tad. Those are the best bits. And finally, we need caramelized onions. They are such an all-purpose ingredient in my kitchen that I have a separate video on how to make them. The link is below. Set the pan with onions of a medium-low heat to warm up all the components of this dish in case they cooled off. Add the tomatoes into the pan with onions. My lentils are warm but not hot, so they are ready to use. Just make sure to reserve half a cup of lentil cooking liquid before draining them. Add the bulgur. And I like to add about a quarter cup of lentil cooking liquid to keep this mixture moist. If the roasted tomatoes and mojada raise some eyebrows, wait till you see my next addition. Dijon mustard. Why? Same reason as tomatoes, acidity. But mustard is more punchy. And if you've never had lentils with mustard, you don't know what you're missing. One tablespoon of pomegranate molasses. Use balsamic vinegar to taste if you don't have it a pinch of salt, and two to three tablespoons of butter. If you want to keep the dish vegan, replace butter with olive oil. Oops, I forgot the black pepper. Here we go. Mix, 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 and of course, taste. I like to top this dish with extra caramelized onions when serving. If you think whole grain dishes taste like cardboard, wait till you try this one. 
you just might change your mind. And on this happy note, our vegan mini-series comes to an end. What's next on Helen's Kitchen channel? Well, winter is coming. And there is no better antidote than a steaming bowl of spätzle noodles with beer braised short shrimps. So don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.